The best starting party in Trials of Mana. Topics like these are extremely divisive. When it comes to class-based RPGs, there's rarely ever going to be a set in stone answer and there's often going to be a thousand different opinions. Now, there are six characters in Trials of Mana and you only get to use three of them per playthrough, meaning that no matter who you start with, you'll never get to control the other three during your first playthrough. So this makes choosing your party at the beginning of the game pretty important. This video is going to give you information in picking out an excellent party throughout your first playthrough in Trials of Mana. So this video is going to be broken up into a couple of different pieces. If you just want my recommendations for a strong team, skip to this timestamp because before I actually give any recommendations, there are people out there that actually want to understand why they're choosing specific characters. So I'll be going into all of that right now. Before even talking about party composition and who you should use, we need to talk first about two topics. Character roles and classes. The difficult part is that the two are very intertwined and it's near impossible to speak about one without talking about the other. About 8 to 10 hours into the game, you're going to get the ability to pick classes for your team. The class that you pick will greatly influence what role the character will have on your team. But for now, let's just keep things simple and look at primary roles for the characters at the start of the game. Duran is your tank. At the very beginning of the game, he has access to Provoke, which no one has access to this skill but him. So he'll be drawing enemy attention towards himself while your other party members get the space to breathe and do what they do best. Angela is your mage. She's the worst physical damage output in the game, but hits really hard with her spells. Kevin is your melee powerhouse. He's the strongest physical damage in the game. Charlotte is good at healing and pretty much nothing else. As a matter of fact, she's the only healer that you'll have access to for the first eight hours into the game. She's also extremely annoying with her voice in the game, and it's what stops a lot of people from actually using her. Reese and Hawkeye are both jack-of-all-trade type of characters. They have good damage output, but they mainly shine through their class upgrades later on in the game. So Duran is your tank, Angel is your mage, Kevin is your melee damage dealer, Charlotte is your healer, and Rees slash Hawkeye will do well with melee in the beginning of the game, but shine when you get to change your class. These two are going to get the ability to debuff enemies as well as do elemental damage to enemies. Again, this depends on the class that you take them down, but just know that they're incredibly solid characters. Even though I'm not going heavy into detail with them, they're integral to whatever team they're going to be on. So now let's delve a little bit into classes. Now, I'm not going to go really in depth with this. I'll have my breakdown of classes in the video description below if you want to check those out. But I'll just talk about general info that'll help you in your decision with who you want to be on your team. As a quick disclaimer, I'm just going over the first classes that you're able to get, not the level three or four classes. Duran can choose between a knight or a gladiator. As a knight, he'll be more defensive base and he'll get the ability to heal. As a gladiator, he's more offensive based. He won't have the ability to heal, instead, He'll lean more towards doing damage rather than being defensive. 
the gladiator will get sword spells, whereas the knight won't get any at all, which I'll go over later when talking about Charlotte. Angela is pretty straightforward all around. She's a mage through and through. From the sorceress class, she'll get access to multiple level three spells. And as a mysticist, she'll be able to use her own HP to deal out more damage with level two spells. Again, she's your magic damage dealer, so there's not much diversity. Kevin can choose to be a brawler or a monk. So much like Duran, the monk class is more defensive while the brawler is all out offense. With monk, you'll get the ability to heal, which is one of the main strong points if you don't use Charlotte or Duran. Charlotte can become an enchantress or a priestess. As an enchantress, she'll get access to AoE damage spells, but the priestess on the other hand will learn sword buffs that you can use to make one of your characters to have an element to their attacks. This is pretty good for taking advantage of enemy weaknesses, so if you're going up against a fire enemy, you can use the ice saber to deal out more damage. Reese gets the choice of either going debuff or buff mode. She'll be excellent at either one you choose, it's all dependent on what you'd like to do. Whereas Hawkeye can choose to do more damage by becoming a ranger, or debuff enemies by becoming a ninja. Again, these two are such solid characters that even without their abilities, they do so much damage, they just have so much utility. In my opinion, Trials of Mana did amazing because you essentially have four out of six characters that are gonna be pretty useful throughout the game. I'm not a huge fan of Angela and Charlotte, but that's not to say that they don't have their uses. I personally use Charlotte in my own party just because of the fact that she's so good at healing and the sword buffs are really helpful. And this is going to be the basis of how you'll make your team. It's going to be dependent on your playstyle. If you want just massive melee damage, use Kevin, Duran, and Hawkeye. Duran will soak up damage and he can also hit for good damage, he has the ability to heal. Kevin will pour out tons of damage and Hawkeye can debuff and also hit hard. If you want a really defensive team, use Duran, Reese, and Charlotte. Duran will tank and gets the ability to use shield later on to mitigate some damage. Reese can buff your party up and Charlotte can heal you. The party that I would suggest for those new to Trials of Mana would be Kevin, Hawkeye, and Charlotte. Kevin does massive melee damage, Hawkeye gets the ability to use debuffs and elemental spells, and Charlotte heals you. So you're essentially covering all your bases here. If you don't like Charlotte, replace her with literally anybody else. You can always make Kevin a monk to heal up and have debuff elemental damage from Hawkeye. I'm a real big fan of those two. They're really really good I think they're the best in the game the point of the matter is you want to just cover all your bases healing melee damage elemental damage and debuffing one final suggestion of a team I really like is Hawkeye Kevin and Duran Duran gets provoke while Hawkeye gets enigma so basically Duran pulls enemies to him and Hawkeye gets enemies off of him, leading for lots of crits from Hawkeye and even Kevin in beast mode. Just tons of damage and potential here. Really good synergy. Hopefully this guide gives a little bit of direction in creating your team. If you found the video helpful, a like or a comment is always really appreciated. It helps support the channel and gives me that motivation just to create more guides.